Indiana Davis flirts with bottomlessness on the cover of the 2015 Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. But the magazine didn't always feature covers of models toying with nudity. Babette March graced the cover of the first SI swimsuit edition in 1964. And I'm not sure those conservative bathing suits are in production anymore. If we shoot to 1975, Cheryl Teagues looks a little more risque, but the bottom half of her body is barely visible. SI starts showing more skin in the 80s, with Christy Brinkley showcasing her body in an interesting bathing suit. The trend continues in the 90s, with Tyra Banks wearing a smaller top and ever so lightly grasping her bottoms. The magazine pushed boundaries more once the new millennium started, with Petra Nemkova untying her bottoms in 2003. And in our current decade, Brooklyn Decker doesn't even have a top on in the 2010 cover, but she uses her hands. So is the magazine pushing limits this year? Or was the 1964 bathing suit considered risque back in the day? I guess we'll know when next year's edition comes out. If you want to see a gallery of more swimsuit models, go to usatoday.com. Bye.